So 2020 is just getting started and for those of you who are still not sure if you should learn JavaScript or not this year, in this video I'm going to give you the best reasons for you to learn it. The most obvious one is that JavaScript is the only programming language that you can use on the front end. So whenever you're going to build some kind of website or web application that you want users to interact with it, you will need to use JavaScript. And also JavaScript runs natively on the browser. You can basically just start typing down some JavaScript code on your browser. Chrome is the most popular one. You can even give it a try. I can even show you something in here on the screen right now. Just trying to create some variables and just do a console.log and you will see that JavaScript just runs perfectly. Comparing to the backend programming languages, you have loads of different choices like PHP, Python, C Sharp, Java, and so on. For the front end, you will really need to use JavaScript. JavaScript is also the most popular language on the Stack Overflow website. I guess most of you should already know this website, but for those of you who don't know, whenever you get stuck on your code and you are trying to find a solution, most likely Stack Overflow is going to come up on the top search of your results on Google and most likely you will find your answer in there. So Stack Overflow is a huge community where there is a lot of developers, people asking for some questions that they are stuck on their code and there will be other developers answering them. So according to this 2019 survey from Stack Overflow, JavaScript has been the most popular language for the past 7 years. And in this survey there was around like 80,000 developers that they vote on this. And you guys, I'm going to put some charts in here on the screen and I'm also going to put the link in the description so you guys can have a look. There is so, so many uh, interesting statistics like you can see the average age of the developers, who they think will be the most influential person on 2020, uh, the most programming languages. Basically just show that there is a lot of people interested in JavaScript and this is the main point of this video. I'm going to put a link on the description so you guys can really have a look into this survey. Also JavaScript is the language with the most active repositories on GitHub. I'm going to show you some charts in here on the screen and I'm also going to put some links in the description so you guys can really see these charts by yourself and basically we can see that JavaScript has been the most used language by a lot of developers and by a lot of teams and you can see that just behind JavaScript there is Java in second place and there is Python in third place. This just shows how much popular JavaScript it is and this really just shows that there will be a lot of demands for these kind of developers and if, you're, if you are trying to get a job as a web developer, if you know JavaScript, you are all set. Like I said, I'm going to put some links in here on the description so you guys can check these charts by yourself. With JavaScript right now, you can also build mobile applications using React Native. So before, if you would like to build some kind of mobile applications, for example, for Android, uh, you would have to learn uh, Objective, no Objective-C, I think it was Java or Kotlin. And then if you would like to build some kind of mobile applications for iOS, a completely different system, you would have to learn Objective-C or Swift. Nowadays, if you just know JavaScript and you know how to use uh, React Native, Basically, with just one code that you will build, React Native allows you to just ship your code into Android and ship your code also to iOS. So basically, if you know now JavaScript, you can build this kind of applications without having to learn any extra language. That's completely awesome. That's why JavaScript is getting so popular right now. One of the things I love the most about JavaScript is that you can become a full stack web developer just by knowing JavaScript. So JavaScript allows you to build front-end interfaces with some of the newest libraries like React is one of the most popular ones and the one that I love the most. Uh, there is also Angular and there is Vue. All of these libraries they have huge communities online and there is like tons of resources for you to learn. 
And then, for example, if you would like to build something on the back end, you can always use Node.js. So, as you can see, you don't need to learn any additional languages like PHP or, or C Sharp or Python or anything. You can use just JavaScript and you are able to build full stack applications. I give you guys a lot of examples all the time like building an e-commerce website, building a blog, building some kind of social media. All of these can be done just by using, for example, JavaScript. One of the last things that I would like to mention about JavaScript is that there are a ton of different libraries out there that you can learn and some of my favorite are for example uh, tensorflow.js where basically you can just do some machine learning with JavaScript. I even did a video a while ago showing you for example how you can use your own camera um, to try to, to make some images move based on your movements. Uh, I'm gonna put something in here on your on the screen so you guys can see as well. And I'm gonna put a link for these demos about these uh, machine learning with JavaScript because I think it's so interesting and I think that machine learning is, is on the future of the web for sure. So if you can use something like this tensorflow.js, uh, it's just amazing and you guys can just get a flavor about what machine learning is. There are also a lot of different libraries to display, for example, charts on your own website. So if you have some kind of data that you would like to just display on your own website, there is this kind of charts.js, d3.js, uh, so I'm gonna put some charts in here on the screen so you guys can really know what I'm talking about But I think this is amazing when you want to display some kind of these data on your own website or for a client JavaScript allows you to do this because there are a ton of different libraries like this And finally if you are into for example 3d modeling there is one amazing library called 3.js which I'm gonna put in here on the screen and the link on the description as well uh, you guys can really build 3d models on JavaScript. Just look at these examples that I'm putting in here on the screen. Uh, you guys can see that there are really amazing things that you can do and I can see a lot of potential in this because you could build potentially like uh, products that people are trying to sell and with these kind of 3D models you can put them on the website so people they can see how does it look like. It could be for example about how does a, a room look like, how a product looks like so people can just visualize it on the website. There are a ton of different possibilities for this kind of 3D modeling and I also think that is going to be the future of the web as well. Alright guys, so these are my best reasons to learn JavaScript in this year. Let me know what you think about JavaScript. Do you love it? Do you hate it? What's your favorite programming language? I want to know everything on the comments down below. And if you don't like JavaScript, I want to know why. And if you love it, I want to know why as well. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.